Hi, I'm Anna from Astashkina Cakes. I teach sugar artists how to create modern cakes and flowers using wafer paper. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make wafer paper poinsettia flower. We are going to color, embellish, and assemble our poinsettia. So let's get started. So for our poinsettia flower, I wanted to color my wafer paper bright red color, but I want it to be a little bit sparkly. And I'm going to use my mini spray bottle and mix my conditioner with the red color here in this bottle. I'm going to take my conditioner uh, to my bottle. And for my color, I'm going to use petal dust because that's the only bright red color I have. And I'm going to shake it to dissolve my color. If you have an airbrush, you can use this mixture in your airbrush. Or if you live in a humid climate, feel free to substitute the wafer paper conditioner with vodka or even high-proof alcohol to make it dry faster. I'm going to use a piece of paper towel to check the color. So it's dark red and I like it. And I'll take my wafer paper and I'm going to spray it evenly on both sides. I want my color to be a little bit brighter, so I'm going to leave it to dry and then add another layer. Now that my wafer paper is dry, first application, I'm going to add more of this mixture as a second layer. And same goes with your airbrush. If you wanted to make your wafer paper darker, sometimes applying one shade in one time is not enough. So it's easier to apply one layer, let it dry and apply another layer. And I set it aside to dry and we'll start cutting our petals. So from my template, I'm going to use only three smaller sizes because I want my poinsettia to be relatively small to place it on a cookie. And feel free to make all those petals and make your poinsettia flower relatively large if you're going to put it on a cake. And I need to cut five of each. I'm going to stack three layers of wafer paper and cut my petals. Now that I have five of each size, I wanted to shape my petals and I'm going to use my Dresden tool to do that. So my wafer paper is relatively fresh from airbrush and I'm going to put it on my foam pad and gently press in the middle, creating this leaf shape. So this is going to be my large leaf and I do this for all of my large leaves. If your wafer paper isn't flexible or it's breaking when you are doing this, you can use a mini steamer like I have here and you can steam your wafer paper a little bit just to introduce moisture back so it becomes flexible and easier to shape. I will do the same with my medium sized leaves and small leaves as well. Now that I have my leaves cut and shaped, I wanted to dust them a little bit just to show the difference between each layer. And I'm going to use the same red petal dust that I used to spray my wafer paper. So I'll take my leaf and gently dust only, out, only on the outside to bring attention with all these details. If you want your wafer paper to be even darker or brighter red, you can dust your leaves with the same color to bring more color in. For my small leaves, I'm going to dust the whole leaf because they are so tiny. And same for my medium size leaves, I'm going to focus my attention on the outside and more on the top of the leaf to uh, create this visual separation when we are going to put our leaves together. So you can see now they are much brighter and let's add some embellishments. 
to add decorations to my leaves i'm going to use piping gel and i have uh, sparkling sugar and this edible flakes they are by pme so here i have my decorations and i'm going to take my leaf and apply a small amount of piping gel on the surface if you don't have piping gel you can use clear gel or even corn syrup just make sure it's relatively thick so i want my decorations to be on the surface and i'm going to paint my leaf with piping gel to make sure it's sticky and then dip into my sending sugar and add some of this flakes so now i have my leaf encrusted with the sanding sugar and i'll do this again i prefer to use different mediums such as sparkling sugar and flakes because i have piping gel here and a sparkling sugar might not stick to every part of my leaf that's why i want everything else to be covered with this glitter flakes now that i have all my leaves embellished i'm going to assemble them on a flower if you're working on a cake you can start assembling your flower directly on a cake i'm going to place them on a cookie and i'll show you in the next tutorial so that's why i'm going to take a small piece of wafer paper same color to make it not so obvious and you can use a touch of fondant or something to work as your base for me with a paper is the easiest to use and i'm going to take my piping gel again i'm going to use it as a um, glue for today application you can use water or with a paper glue whatever works for you and i'm going to touch my leaf with the with a paper with the piping gel and place it onto my center I'll do this for all five of my leaves as my first layer here so because I have piping gel it will allow me to move my leaf leaves if I need to but this is basically my first layer for my flower to add my next layer I'm also going to use piping gel and place my petals in between So here is my two layers of my porn city. I'm going to move it here to be able to set it aside to dry. So for my last layer, I'm going to use five more leaves and attach them using piping gel as well. So now I have a few steps left. I wanted to add more sparkling sugar in the middle. So I'll place dollop of my piping gel to fix all my petals and i'm going to add the same sparkling sugar and snowflakes mixture here in the middle and press it down making sure that is so sparkly and because i wanted to add some movement and to make my poinsettia flower not to look so flat while it's drying i'm, I'm going to place this uh, cosmetic sponges small pieces in between layers to prop them to dry in a more open shape and these are just cut in small pieces this cosmetic triangular sponges i'll place more in between my layers and i'm going to set it aside to dry until for 10-15 minutes or until the paper poinsettia hold its shape so now that my wifi paper poinsettia are dry, I'm going to remove the pieces. And you can see how sparkly, beautiful and textural this poinsettia is. Next week we are going to place it on a cookie and I'll show you how to put it together. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can find all my templates and all the tools I use on my website astashkinacakes.com and if you're going to make your own poinsettia flowers, please share on social media and tag me as Astashkina Cakes. I would love to see your creations and I'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.